So y'all know what's going on when you see the Starbucks cup. Let's go. Hey guys, Nikki here and I am back with another Spoiling Myself video. If you didn't know, I do these videos once a month mostly at the end of the month and every video is everything that I collected since the last Spoiling Myself video. So just like every other Spoiling Myself video, do you guys want to guess who this one is sponsored by? Dossier, alright? So if you guys didn't know, Dossier is a perfume company. Lord, y'all know we love perfume right now. It's kind of like the whole makeup beauty phase. Then kind of phased out and everybody is on perfumes and scents. So I'm going to show you guys how you can save some money and get your favorite inspired by designer niche. All kind of fragrances starting at $29 a bottle, okay? Um, let me just grab all six of the new ones that I just got. So I guess I'll just go ahead and tell you the beginning of this video is going to be heavy on the fragrance. I would time stamp it, but you guys need to see all these goodies. So, oh, so yeah, I thought I was playing. Sis really got six new bottles, okay? So let's go through these very, very quick. Every single bottle of perfume I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a mini review, including the scents that I did not get from Dossier. So let's get it popping. Let's get the business out the way first. I think I already said how much they are. I love Dossier. I do have a discount code. I will link it below. These are the best. Listen to me carefully, guys. The best inspired by perfumes I've ever had in my life okay they are the closest like sometimes it's so close i'm like now nah, you can't tell me it's not the real thing you get what i'm saying so this is the box right here that your dossier will come in the monitor is very very far i don't know i was gonna do this up close but um the first one is floriental coconut and it's inspired by tom ford soleil blank so let me show you what they do not do, which one of you guys brought this to my attention, my last Spoiler Myself video. They did not put the samples in here anymore, so I don't know. I think the try before you commit thing is out the door because I don't see any samples in here. So this is the bottle right here. Chic bottle, silver tops that, that's magnetic. You get a lot in here. You get 1.7 fluid ounce, and I just love these. You guys know I showed you about two vlogs ago how I label what they are inspired by, and I love every single one of these scents that I got so this is floral coconut so you guys know I love dossier I'm just gonna show you some of the newer scents they got and it's gonna blow your wig back okay if you don't have no wig on it's gonna blow your scalp back all right so listen I never thought that I would love this but what I have realized and you will see later on in the video too is that Tom Ford is one of those brands you cannot go off the initial spray you have to let that thing work and do its job and this is inspired by soul blano it smells so good but you know what i got this from dossier so i'm not gonna pay no two three hundred dollars on a ton for so i'm super super glad i got this okay super super glad i got this one so now that you know how to bottle and all that look i'm just gonna go through the scents this is floral rhubarb this is inspired by i'm embarrassed mark jacobs perfect y'all know i love it yeah <laughs> So I gotta back up. That's that one. <laughs> um, so this one is inspired by floral pink pepper. No, this is floral pink pepper, and it's inspired by Dior Miss Dior. Yeah, this is beautiful. I got Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, but the original, this uh oh, floral pink pepper, this smells so freaking good to me. Oh my gosh, so I ain't getting the original one. Wow, when I got a full bottle of this and it's gonna last, baby. I be spraying my um dossier, the inspired baccarat. People can't even tell the difference. As a matter of fact, I got a story to tell, but it's gonna be later on in the video about that, okay? So this is Woody Sandalwood and it is Lilabo Centaur 33. Now my sis Peyton and Amanda talks about this all the time, and I see why. This they talk about the Lilabo version, not this one. Oh, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. Oh, that is beautiful, guys. That is beautiful. Put that on your dossier list. This smells freaking awesome. Also, I got 
gourmet patchouli this is inspired by angel by moogler and i have the original of this the only original that i've already showed that i have is perfect and i have another perfect from dossier oh yeah i know that smells good that's i think that is my favorite moogler scent but that's the dossier version and this last one is another little labo um the noir 29 hands down this is my favorite once again that's the noir 29 oh this smells so good but dossier version is citrus tea citrus tea get this guys it smells awesome so i'll leave the link to the dossier below you got can you not tell i love them <laughs> let's move into the rest of the fragrances and it's gonna be deep heavy on the fragrances because your girl just love fragrances right now. Let's go. All right, if you watched my last Follow Myself video, I showed you guys where Versace was having this pack on summer deal where if you buy any fragrance, you get a you get a Versace backpack, okay? So this is what the box looked like. I know these are gone. Like you guys, the world did not play with these. This, I guess it's like a yearly thing. And oh my god, so this is what the back looked like. I actually end up getting mine from Belks because I kept calling Macy's and stuff and it's a whole nother story. So I end up getting Versace Crystal Noir. It was the last of the crystal or the ones that's like in this type of bottle that I did not have. Love it. It is my favorite one out of these type of bottles. Okay. So with that, I got a gold Versace backpack. Just something like a little spindle night bag, you know what I'm saying? Real cute, real Versace-ish. That's what they look like. And y'all know me and I told y'all I was going to do this, okay? I wanted both. I wanted the one with the silver. So in order to get the silver backpack, you had to get a male fragrance. Um, and this is the last male fragrance that was left. It was the Versace... Just a plain Versace. I was going to give this to my dad, but if you guys can remember back in March, I gifted my dad another Versace scent, and he still ain't used this, so he ain't getting this. It's going to be gifted, though. So, it smells good. But y'all know, I don't really like smelling like a man, but that smells good. So, I got the one with the silver hardware with that one. So, those came from Dillard's, Macy's, Belt, those type of stores, but... I told y'all about that one in my last one of myself video. So if you missed it, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's move into my plug who no longer sells perfume. So sorry, I hipped you guys to her and she quit. But <laughs> I can't link her below because she don't sell perfume anymore. So here are my last five bottles from her until she start back if she decides to. All right, I got Prada Amber. And usually I am really big on Amber. But this one is. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So now I'm learning to let the, the scents like do their thing and it never did its thing. It's not bad but I don't see myself reaching for this but I only pay like $30 for it. Now this right here, this is Versace. Oh, that smells so freaking good to me. This is Versace, um, it's the Versace in the gold bottle. I will link these below at Sephora. Oh, that's mm, awesome. I love that. I got Opium by Issa Laurent. Girl, no man. No freaking way I wear this. Oh, no. That's just God awful. <laughs> if you want this, leave a comment below. If you say you want it, because I don't. <laughs> and I'll give it to you. Then I got Miracle by Lancome beautiful scent it's a beautiful daytime airy throw it on run to the mall i like it 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 and i got our money co by georgia our money she okay too she's okay she's worth keeping but if i run out of her i wouldn't replace it it's kind of masculine too unisex like that's what it smells like to me but this oh did y'all see that this bottle right here is two hundred dollars in sephora so i paid under 200 for all five of these so it was worth it <laughs> all right so my perfumes are split up in sections i have three more sections this entire section was 
brought to you or I got the sense because I watched Amanda. Now, I told you guys in a vlog, I have a love-hate relationship with watching her because I know I'm going to buy some, okay? But she's so detailed and so thorough and so on point with her fragrances. I trust her nose. And so, yeah, Amanda. Y'all follow her. Her channel will be linked below, okay? And I'll roll it right here on the screen for you guys. Guys, let's just go. So, she was talking about this Banana Republic Dark Cherry Amber. She said it was on Amazon. So, I was like, I thought it was like something you can go into the Banana Republic store and get and you couldn't. Um, I tried um, in my vlog, you guys will see, when I went to Vegas. And so, I just walked in Burlington one day and it was just sitting right there for $19. And I was this close to getting it on Amazon for $60. So, this is Dark Cherry Amber. So, Burlington has a lot of these Banana Republic scents. You guys are insta not Instagramming. You guys are snapping me, showing me the different scents you got. But I was on the hunt for just this one. I'm so happy. I'm not even a really big cherry person like that. I love a uh, cherry almond scent by Jergens, But I'm not a cherry person because it starts smelling a little like medicine to me. This is it though. I don't know if it's the amber that's pulling that out of that. This smells freaking good to me and I'm so glad I found it and I'm so glad I managed to get it for $20 if I see another one I will grab it all right so she also did a video her favorite scents from Amazon I forgot how to pronounce this y'all it's cashmere show part something like that this the box it was only like $29 it was very inexpensive she said it had notes of nectarine in it, so I was like, I need it. Because you guys know I say all the time, a nectarine ain't nothing but the peach without the her. And I love peach. I don't like this, though. I don't like this at all. I won't say at all, but I just thought I was going to love it. And I don't. It has something in here that's just mm, not sitting right in my spirit. It's okay. I'm going to keep it, but I thought I was going to love it. I don't okay let's move on so she did another video i can't remember the, which video that one was but she said that this one mix bar you can get this at target is vanilla bourbon she said this one right here put her in the mind of pink sugar and yeah okay sis <laughs> y'all know one thing i don't play about is pink sugar like i don't care how much money i have how much i get into higher end fragrances I'm still going to spray my pink sugar on all the time. But this don't smell like pink sugar to me. But I love it. And it was under 20 bucks, guys. It was only like $17. This is the bottle. This smells so freaking good. It don't smell. It's me. I love me a sweet but sexy scent. But it don't smell like pink sugar to me. I'm a pink sugar pro. I can see where they get that from. But this don't smell like pink sugar. So, she said she did a cherry video. And that's where I got the dark cherry amber. And she said that this Prada Candy Gloss smells like cherry. And it really, really does. I love the Prada Candy. And it's flanker scents, which are, you know, different variations of a scent. Come in a bottle just like this. I got this from Amazon as well. You can find these Prada scents, Burlington Marshalls, all that all the time. But I got these from Amazon. This is it. This is my favorite one. Because y'all get on Amazon and y'all know I work for Amazon. So I get stuff free. And I see two other variations. And I'm just like, YOLO. So I was like, I don't even have the original Prada candy. Had it before, sold it. Just wasn't my thing then. My nose changed weekly, y'all. So I like it. I didn't like it when I first had it, but I like it now. I don't know if you're supposed to keep those little things on there, but I take mine off the little things that are right here. I don't know what that's called. So I got the original Prada Candy, and then I got Prada Candy Sugar Pop, and I just knew this one was going to be my favorite one because I'm a sugar girl. This is the one I thought would smell like pink sugar or something, but this is my least favorite. I like it, but it's my least favorite out of all of them. And it come in a bottle like this with the blue. So, yeah, Amanda, this is your fault. So, now let's move into...
the rest. I'm going to just group all the rest of these together. Let's just get this going. Because if you're not into perfume, I know you like... But that's what I'm into right now. Bear with me. Okay. So when I was in there getting that dark cherry amber, I came across another Rihanna Rubble Floor. And you guys know I love this. I showed two of them in my last one. Big Suge took one. So I got me a backup. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's the little $9 bottle. So, yeah. Huda Beauty came out with a new scent called Invite Only. And you guys know I say all the time, this woman can do fragrance. It come in this beautiful bottle right here. Let me tell you what's in it. Black cherry, honey, tobacco leaf, amber, and vanilla. When I first smelled this, I'm, I smelled nothing but tobacco. I text Miss Diva like and said, girl, this smells like my grandpa house after he used to. You know how the old people used to keep that tobacco in their mouth and spit? I did not like it, and I love her. I let it sit for about 10 minutes. I smell so pretty, y'all. It was the sexiest, prettiest thing ever. So I'm so glad I let it sit and do its thing because I almost got rid of her. She was $100. She was almost about to be out the door. <laughs> so all right all right y'all know i love me some mark jacobs perfect i just told y'all that i got the real one i got a version by iris by niece i got two dossier versions and so they came out with intense i blind bought it because i was like much as i love perfect i know i'm a little perfect intense yeah this thing ain't nothing like perfect the top is gorgeous on here. Just like the top on Perfect. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful bottle. The scent is totally different. Totally different. So do not get this thinking it's just like a more mm, version of Perfect. It's not. Perfect is summer, daytime, fresh, jolly rancher, snackable type. This is grown, nighttime, fall the heck is in this do it say it on the box it don't say it's a complete opposite but i love it i love it i love perfect more but i love this too especially because Bay was like what you wearing and when Bay say that it's a good scent because she ain't really like no perfume type person she always be like mm, it smell all right mm, it smell all right every time i ask her do she like the way something smell Sorry, I'm so frigidy, guys, but this hair just seems like it's so big to me. So, that being said, I got Angel Share by Killian. You guys know I say he can do some sense too. And look at this bottle. It looked like some cognac on ice, honey. Baby. Honey, child. It smells delectable. Is that a word? <laughs> it smells just like, oh, my God gosh this smells so good it smells just like a drink but in a good way it smells like amaretta sour <sighs> i freaking love this i haven't got a killian scent yet that i didn't like okay so yeah get that one get that one then you guys know i was saying how i'm not a baccarat fan i didn't say i'm not a baccarat fan but you know youtubers be hyping some stuff up <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i don't hype some of these scents up and it just wasn't my thi i hate when i say that i stand corrected i don't feel like it was worth the 300 and something dollars so i just be sticking to my little dossier version so you guys know i had samples of baccarat and never used my bottle of it so i gifted that to someone for their birthday but i got me the oil so what i'm gonna do is use the mfk oil <laughs> and then layer it with the dossier scent this is worth a hundred dollars but the scent wasn't worth 300 to me and this come in a little spray thing too so you can just spray the oil on rub it in and then i'm gonna put my dossier on we're gonna layer it okay so i got that and the next section is all stuff I got from the CCO. You guys know whenever I'm somewhere, anywhere, I stop in their CCO and see what they got. I was in Vegas. They had a bum CCO, but I couldn't really shop because it was like so crowded. Their CCO was real small, and it was so crowded in there. My anxiety gets to when I'm in any little closed space, and it's just so many people in there. So what I did 
was I sprayed some stuff on like different parts of me went down to um the Versace store I want to say and came back and I'm so glad I did let me tell you why so first though I got for free a full-size bottle of the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro Rapid Brightening Treatment. This is what I love about it. This is what I love about the CCO, which stands for the Cosmetic Company Outlet. I leave it below every video every time I talk about it. You just have to Google it and see if there's one in your city, state, or whatever. They are almost always in outlet stores or outlet malls. So. They always giving you free stuff. They be having some bum deals. The store is always, first of all, it's already discounted because it's like the outlet where they send all Mac and Estee Lauder and all that. And then they always have bum deals where you can get stuff free. And then they always have take an additional 40 or 50% off if you get over a certain amount. So, yeah. So, I got this free. That was my point of saying all that. So, I sprayed on this Tom Ford Nor. And you guys know how I say Tom Ford just gets on my nerves because it's so, mm, it's too much for me. I only like, uh, what's my peach one? And the cherry one. I, and the blue bottle ones. The, I got to smell girly, guys. I sprayed this Nor on and was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Bae, nope, I don't want it. We're walking. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, my God when it dried down that's why I told you earlier when I was talking about the dossier since you gotta let Tom Ford dry down to get the prettiness out of it oh man I love it and it was only like 60 some dollars this is like a 200 300 dollar bottle of perfume got it CCO CCO so in my Vegas vlog I was telling you guys in the vlog before that Peony and Blush Sway by Joe Malone. I got the little one. This is the $70 bottle. Yeah, $70 bottle. But I got this at the CCO for free because I got to pick out like a hundred and some dollars worth of free products and this was one. I used half of this whole freaking bottle while I was in Vegas. That's how much I love this scent. Suge hates it. I like it though. Literally. And so I was like, I'm in a CCO. Let me just go and get another one. And it was 40% off. So it was like $30, $40. It's worth it though. So I got another one because that one almost gone, honey. Did y'all see it? <laughs> and this is the hundred and something bottle. This is their bigger bottle, Joe Malone. Um, I got this one for 40% off. And this is the Ashma. <laughs> Girl, we can't roll it tongue like that. Hold on. Osmanthus Blossom. I love this. It's floral, it's fresh. Actually, I really feel like it was one or two probably better than this. But I got in that store. All them scents started mixing together. All them people was in there. And I had to go. So I went with this one because it was the first one that really like that I didn't just not like. All the rest, some of them I was spraying and I was like, oh no, nah, this ain't it, girl. This ain't it. But this one was the first one I sprayed that I was like, mmm, this is pretty. And so I went with this one. <laughs> Woo! I dang near should have broke that up and just had a perfume haul, huh? Old trash bag full of perfume boxes. But let's move into the bougie stuff. I tell you guys all the time I can't leave links for this stuff. I can't tell you where I got it from. Message me somewhere else. So, guys, I went through a phase. If y'all watch my vlogs, I sold all of my big bougie bags. <laughs> I just don't want any of my bigger bags bougie anymore. My little bags I take to the club at to eat for a picture. Yeah, but we'll talk about that when I get to my stuff that ain't bougie. So this is from the person. No, I got Amanda influenced these also. Remember I said it was something else she influenced that wasn't perfume? These are on Amazon. They are GG earrings and there's a gold, silver, and a rose gold pair in here. The hardware. The actual GGs are pearls though. They're pretty good size. Pretty, pretty good size. So I got these. You get three pair and it was super inexpensive. Like, I want to say like 20 bucks it was so inexpensive. So I got those. So Amanda, the one who influenced me to get all that perfume, influenced me to get that also. So anyway, let's move on. This is my bougie person that I see a lot of you guys on her page. Um, I got a wallet from Dior. 
I usually don't get wallets because I don't switch my wallets out more. I got, I don't. But y'all gonna see why I got this one. Hello. <laughs> I love this shade of purple, lavender, lilac. Which one is it? It's just a regular wallet. Y'all know I got a a black Dior purse from um the real real. No no no, I got it from Fashion Foul. Um, so whenever I wear that, I guess I'll put this wallet up in there. So I also got some slides. So I'm just going to go kind of fast because I kind of took you out of the perfume deal. Dang. And they're just plain slides like this. LB slides. And I wore these while I was in Vegas. They were a hit. And so then I got a duffel bag. And I don't know why because I got a... A keep all from Louis Vuitton and I got a purple duffel bag from Toad and Carrie but I saw this and just had to have this damn you can never have like I just love all black sleek stuff so I can see me traveling and taking this little duffel with me and this is I think this is the size that you can carry on on spirit so I needed a smaller one like this yeah, it is the size you can take on on Spirit. And it just has the L prints throughout it. It's really, really cute. Really, 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 really cute. So I got that. And then my last thing that I got from her was a Chanel bag. Now, I wanted this Chanel bag. It's a Chanel 19. But I wasn't about to pay no seven grand. And this bag is not... A lot of people hate this bag in like a black and white bag. Because they're like, they don't even look like something Chanel will put out. But y'all know why I like it. Girl, look at these colors. Y'all know how I feel about my colors. Look at that. Has the double C right there. That's what the back look like. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. Oh, she put some earrings in here for me. There are earrings in here. <laughs> CC earrings. That's too cute. There's another strap in here. Oh no, this is the same strap. Okay, I should have had all this ready. So let me just close it back. Let's just do that. So, I have a love-hate relationship with these Chanel 19 bags because the hardware be different colors. But that's what it look like, girl. It's cute or whatever. Love that bag. Love it, love it, love it. So that's everything I got from her. And then I got another bougie person I got about four pieces from. So let me show you guys that real quick and we can get into the real deal. Holy deal. Alright, so as you guys know, I've lost quite a bit of weight and all of my shoes are too big. My slides, everything. I got rid of a whole lot of them. Almost all of them. I kept a few that you kind of can't really tell they're too big, but that's why i have been showing so many slides lately because i replaced all of my slides so i did get these dior slides right here i love these slides and i already got a purse and a bucket hat to match these are in a size 38 i used to be a 39 y'all 39 39 and a half that foot shrunk for real because i fit them real comfortably then I got a Gucci pair. They are, oh, these heavy as heck. <laughs> they are the infamous Gucci thongs. That has the double G right here at the um, toe with the black, I mean, with the green and red string. Those are super heavy. Okay. And then I got a pink pair of Gucci. And they are the ones that has like the G. Like that. So those are the three pair of shoes I got. And then I got a Versace swimsuit. I got two other. Well I actually got like six swimsuits from her. Two of them I already wore. I'll pop a picture when I wear the red one right here. And then I'll pop a picture when I wear the black and gold one right here. And this is the colorful one I got. Super, super cute. So, yeah, that is all of my bougie stuff. Let's move into the heavy hitters. Well, almost. I didn't do too, 
too much damage. All right. All right, guys. So usually with these items, I start with the lower end fashion houses and move my way up. But I already got them in a row over here. So I'm just going to go in order. You're going to get what you get. Okay. So let's start with Coach. Well, these went on sale for $56. And the reason why I got these is because I absolutely love the Tory Burch Miller sandal. They're very comfortable to me. I wore them to my family reunion. I hear a lot of people complain and say that they're not that comfortable, but they fit perfect on my feet and felt good on my feet. And these look just like them. So these are the JC leather sandals. I got them all in a size 7. And this is what they look like. They have like the coach emblem in the middle right there. So that's why I say they look a lot like the Tory Burch sandals to me. And I was thinking like, I ain't gonna even lie because I hate fastening these things on the back of my feet. Just cutting this off right here. So I can slide them on just like the Tory Burch sandal if that makes sense. So this is the first pair I got. And that color, did I say it already? It's Fuchsia. Then I got another pair. And this color is Mango. It's basically orange. See, I could just cut that off, girly, so I could just slide on up in them. Oh, they fit so good. I can't believe I were a size 7. It's a dark orange. And that'll transition into fall. You guys know I'm in Texas, so we really, really don't have no real, real hot months. I mean, we had, what did we have? Snow bit last year. What was that this year? Yeah, that was this year because that was when I was fighting H. pylori doing my treatment. But yeah, we don't typically have cold months. So then this color right here, I had to get it. It's saddle and it's a brown. Like, look at that cute, neat brown. And I actually got these in Vegas. I got these in Dallas and I was in Vegas and Dallas didn't have this color at all. I was like, oh, gotta have them. Cute, new shoe. Girl, this bag is full of receipts. And then I got another style. These things going back. <laughs> They're the Corey Leather Esperados. I guess that's what they stand for. It's abbreviated. And it's like, I might keep them. The black pair that has the gold hardware. Now, these run small because I tried the seven on. And I'm so glad I did because I got to the register and was like, I didn't even try them on. And have to go back and get an 8. I guess because they're so narrow. And these were only $54. So, yeah. That is some good deals on some coach shoes. Do you hear me? So, then. Then. In Vegas, I saw these bracelets. And they were on sale. Um, coach. They came out to $35 each originally $88 each they wrapped them all up in this coach little tissue paper so let me just take them all out so you guys know how I was saying since my wedding ring is rose gold now I've been trying to collect more rose gold jewelry so they have these bracelets they're very like Cartier-ish um they had them in gold silver and rose gold I got three rose gold ones they actually have the C stamped in them is that C for Cartier? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't, don't, don't do me, y'all, because somebody will do me in the comments. Um, they open like this, and you just snap them on your wrist as such. So I got three of them so that I could stack them while they were on sale. So yeah, that's everything I got from Coach, y'all. All right, now next we're gonna move into Tory Burch. The, the handles on their bags annoy the heck out of me. <laughs> because they're so long but I guess that's so when you're shopping you can wear it like this you know what I'm saying um, cool. y'all know this dress I've been bootleg on here since the 70s y'all I never never had a dresser right there okay so just got through talking about these I got three pair of Miller sandals, okay? So, I got the Crystal Miller. I saw T. Marie in these and was like, I have to have them. And then I got them and was like, do they look a, a little mature lady-ish to me? Like, they look a little mature to me. But I love them. They are called the... 
Crystal Miller Square Toe. And I have to get these in an 8. Please go up in these Miller sandals. Because if not, girl, they'll have you looking a fool. Excuse my pinky nail. Y'all know I usually don't even roll like that. But I told y'all my nail tick went back to college and one broke. So, um, it has Crystal right here. Love, love, love that. And they have like a cream nudie base. So I got them because they're different. And I love the little, um, and I love Tory Burch bags for when you travel. They give you, got their little emblem right here with their shoes. So then I got another pair in Vegas. And this is the light makeup. That's the color. I don't even remember what color I got yet. I promise y'all I don't. Oh, I got nude. I got, <laughs> I got nude leather. I went back and forth at the store so I couldn't remember. My black ones are patent leather, but I got nude leather. So, yeah, and I got a pair of glasses in here. I packed so they wouldn't break coming back from Vegas. Perfect. So, this last pair I got, actually got from The Real Real. And I did not pay for these because I'm a Real Real affiliate. And they sent me a credit. So, I got... Well, they came in the original dust bag. Only thing, these are too small, guys. I picked a seven and a half in these, and I just told y'all to go up with them. They're like this pretty teal color, and they're patent leather. So, I'm going to see if she can wear them, and if she want them. If not, I'm going to sell them on Snapchat. That's usually where I do my selling now, because... Um, Poshmark takes a long time to load all that stuff and it's just easier to pop something on Snapchat and say who want it. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that is all my Tory Burch stuff. Child. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more things to show. I mean, not things. Brands. Whew, this be taking a lot of work, y'all. Okay, so... Went to Aldo. Ooh, that Versace smell good. I sprayed it on me putting it up. And if you guys know from my last spoiler myself, I got rid of this Chanel bag that looked a little, it looked a little eggplantish yellow to me. It just wasn't the vibe I wanted. So I was on the hunt for a new bag with silver hardware and that is so hard to find. Everybody do new with gold, but I never knew it was going to be this hard. So I end up with a few of them because... Girl, it's a long story and I don't even feel like telling it because I know this video ain't long. I bought one somewhere and then I saw one somewhere else. I'm like, this is a different new. You know how we do it. So, this was $50 in Aldo. And it's really, really cute. It's new. It's not yellow. It's not eggplant. It's new with silver hardware. It has Aldo right here. And it was only $40. I was like, y'all having a sale? <laughs> I be trying to catch them sales, honey. Save every coin. I can fit my blogging camera in here because I always be trying to find a purse I can fit my blogging camera in when I go out to eat, travel, and etc. And yeah, it's just this ain't even open a dang thing. So y'all can get the full thing, and I'm gonna put it over here on my shelf anyway. Oh wow, this ain't that easy to come off. Okay, well it has a, a crossbody strap on it. So, I got this out of Aldo. The name of it is, in case you want to search it, Andressera. A-N-D-R-E-S-S-E-R-A. -S -S -E and it will be linked below. <laughs> so, that brings me to Mark Jacobs. They were having a sale. So, girl, I went in there looking for a new purse with silver hardware. And I didn't quite get lucky, but I got pretty close. <laughs> I got this, like, this is a mauve wrapped guys this is a mauve tone color it can come off nude but it's more of a mauve purplish and it has like the little Marc Jacob lock right here it's so cute like a little and then there's also a crossbody strap in here and then yeah look at the inside it's like plastic it feels oh it feels like plastic so you don't have to worry about getting it dirty it's not like a material or anything. And how much is this bag? Because now that I look at it, it's like 
something else. $295. Okay, this is called the uh, Romantic Beige. So this is beige. That's weird. Looks purple to me. I mean, that's the color. I don't know what the name is, but this is the bag right here. Super, super cute to me. So then, then, I saw this bag and I just couldn't pass it up. Mark Jacobs is it right now. He has the popular bag that has the little square-like thing in the middle. This is perfect for fall. Has the gold hardware. Um, the name of this, this is not the name of them. This is Sarah. Syrah. And look at the strap. Oh my gosh. It's so thick. Love this. I was going to get it in black and gold too. And I was like, girl, chill. What was this? $3.95. Let's see. Can my camera fit in here? No, sir. Okay, so. Yeah. And nothing spectacular about the inside. Look like a little camera bag. Minus the tripod. It will fit in here. So yeah, I got both of those from Marc Jacobs. And I think these are my first Marc Jacobs bags. Y'all went crazy and was spraying it perfect left and right in the store. They was like, I was like, don't worry, sis. I'm going to spend some coin. <laughs> All right, let's move into Kurt Geiger. If you watched my last photo myself, I introduced you guys to some shoes and etc. from them. Here's a dust bag, honey. I saw this and was like, come on, mama. You mind? You mind? Because it's going to come out blue on camera because purple stuff I always do. But, oh, my leather so soft. It's so soft. So, this is called the Kensington Soft Bag in Lilac. Has the traditional Kurt Geiger eagle head right here. This bag was... I think I got this from Nordstrom's Rack. It was on sale. I want to say 200 ish Here's the strap. Girl, I had to get this. I just love this brand. I, put, I popped my little Kurt Geiger stuff on in Vegas. Did y'all see? <laughs> y'all see me? I put a picture up. And yeah, I love this brand. They actually reached out to me. You guys know that if you are on my Snapchat. So I'm very excited to see what they are going to send me for free. But this bag right here, sis paid for. Sis paid for. So, back on the nude bag search. You see, I already showed you too, right? The Aldo and the Mark Jacobs one. I found one from Rebecca Minkoff and she was having a sale. So I was like, okay, okay. I went from not being able to find any to having three now. I'm done. That's it. That's all I needed was beige or silver hardware. The traditional Rebecca Minkoff, I got two purple bags up there just like this. I got from Poshmark. Couldn't find this on Poshmark, but it was worth Here's the receipt. It was worth it because they were having a sale anyway. It's like a $300 bag. And they don't ever have the prices on these receipts, guys. I think I end up paying $109 for this in the end. And it's like a $300 bag. And it says Rebecca Minkoff back here. This is what it looked like. The little chevron print. And here's the crossbody. Okay. I got my beige bag with silver hardware. I can chill now. All right. <laughs> So we're just going to keep the camera rolling and going on into Versace. I did not get a bag, but you guys know how I feel about Versace shades. Every year for my birthday <laughs> and every year for Christmas, I get a new pair of Versace shades. So while in Vegas, I went into the Versace store and y'all, y'all. <laughs> Let me quick clean because I know this video long. Look at my glasses. They are all silver. And they have Versace right here. And they got the Medusa heads on the side. And in the inside of the Medusa head, they say Versace. Girl. Hold up. Hold Girl, it's my mirror right here. I'm sorry, y'all. 
Oh, I love these. I was like, bag them up. They going home to mama. They are going home to mama. Indeed. And I want to say those are 280. I ain't got a guess, honey. There's a seat right here. Hold on. No, they were 269, 270. <laughs> Close enough. So my last purchase was influenced by pockets and bows she did a video it was like a try on and um a style video and she had a mcm train case bag and hers was trimmed in black i didn't see that one but since i was on the site i was like i'm gonna get one and this is what their box looked like i did not go into the store i ordered this online all right so they sent this right here is a thank you card yeah and this right here is a thank you it say thank you and it has the receipt so this bag was 670 dollars i did recently see sharika b she got hers from fashion five for four something but you gotta look up and find them on there because they not gonna just have them guys it was really really cute it had the little mcm tissue paper and everything looks a mess down here and big shoes sleep. She can't even help me. Look how I be looking at the spoiling myself video. A whole trash bag full of boxes. I'm going to put this stuff up. Here's the dust bag. And here's my chain case. Super cute. Do not remove this tag until you are sure if you're happy with your purchase. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, this is what it looks like. You have your top handle. And, of course, there's a strap. Where do you put the strap on it? Oh, right here. It clips right here. Right here. It's a little thing right here. They go up and down. I doubt I carry it with the strap. I just really like the little carry look. But, yeah, that's my MCM bag. This is actually my first purchase from MCM. I, I have like four or five MCM bags, but I got them all from Fashion Fab. They bought one for my birthday last year, so it doesn't like flop all the way back. There's some leather right here, and this is what the inside look like. Girl, what is all this in here? And what's this over here on the side? I ain't even opened the bag yet. I was saving it to open with y'all. Oh, this is like the authenticity card and etc. Or whatever it's a whole booklet yeah guys so that's everything don't forget to check out dossier i will leave their code below and i got all this to put up so i'll see y'all in my next month now i'll see y'all in my next video right right but i'll see you all in my next spoiler myself i will try to link much of this stuff as i can i promise y'all i will below the video Happy shopping, guys. Bye.